Thank you so much for joining me again today here on the Traveling in Ireland podcast. Today, I'm continuing the Planning Your Ireland Vacation series that I began back in episode 124. So if you're a new listener, you might want to pop back there and start at the beginning to get all the tips that I've shared so far. Today, I'm going to guide you in creating the perfect Ireland vacation itinerary for you while keeping in mind all of the information that you've heard and read everywhere else. And as a reminder, there's no need to take notes. Just visit the podcast show notes and click the link for episode 132 to get all the information I'm sharing and any extra links. So when you start telling people that you're going to go to Ireland and you start planning your perfect Ireland vacation itinerary, you're going to get loads of, you know, well-meant advice. Uh, Lots of people saying, oh, you have to see this, you have to see that, this is a must-see, don't miss this. And it's all really good advice, but it just might not be the right fit for your ideal Ireland vacation. Or maybe you've been doing research online and you've read, you know, 20 of the best things to do in Ireland, 10 things in Ireland you can't miss. You know, all of those those posts that, that give you this list and this rundown. And then you're like, but how do I fit all of that into my trip? Spoiler alert, you probably can't. (laughs) I'm sorry. Um, But anyway, today we're going to go through four steps or four tips that will help you to create your perfect Ireland itinerary. Step one, choose what to see and do. I know that that's like, duh, Jody. that's what I'm trying to do. But This is how kind of to break down all the information that you've gathered. So let's start with those must see lists. Back in podcast episode 56, I covered Ireland's most popular tourist sites based on uh, numbers from 2017. Now, those top sites really don't change year over year over year. And it gives you a really good idea of where most tourists visit when they go to Ireland. Um, They're in Dublin for the Book of Kells, Trinity College, Guinness, Kilmainham Jail, and of course, Temple Bar. Then they go south, either through the Wicklow Mountains or to the Rock of Cashel, as they make their way into County Cork to visit Blarney Castle and kiss the Blarney Stone. And then they head west to the neighboring county of Kerry, where they explore Killarney National Park, the Ring of Kerry, and the Dingle Peninsula. Then they head north up that southwestern part of the Wild Atlantic Way, and they go to County Clare, visit the Cliffs of Moher. Maybe they take a side trip to the Aran Islands, um, and they possibly head up to Galway as well. And then they go straight back across the country to Dublin and leave. (laughs) So that is really, that's kind of the classic um, Ireland itinerary right there. Now, also in episode 56, I offered alternates to those popular sites, spots where you can have a similar experience, but with a smaller crowd. So if you want to get off the main tourist trail, check those out. Now, I'm sure that some of the places that I just mentioned are probably on those must see lists that you've received from friends or those 10 places to visit in Ireland lists. And that's because they're really, really great sites. But as you're doing your research on those, I want you to think about, does this fit with my Ireland goals? Is this what I want to see? Am I wanting to visit Ireland for the, you know, those must-see sites? Or am I wanting to visit Ireland for a completely different reason? Am I golfing? Uh, Do I want to go out and do hiking? Do I want to visit uh, places that have Uh, meaning to me because my ancestors came from Ireland. So really think about how all of those places fit in with the goals that you have. Step number two, (laughs) learn from the mistakes that I've made. In over 20 years of visiting Ireland, I have made every mistake imaginable. Um, From too much driving to too many accommodations, uh, rental car blunders and crazy madness at Dublin airport, I have experienced it all. So check out uh, podcast episode 104 to learn how to avoid the mistakes that I've made and get some tips for your own trip to make it run a little more smoothly. It also has 
three experiences at the end to have in Ireland that you can you can find those all over the country. So they're not, you know, relegated to this is only in Dublin. This is only on the West Coast. You're only going to find this in Northern Ireland. But these are experiences that you can have almost anywhere in the country. And they're just going to make your Ireland vacation a little more extra. Maybe that's the right word for it. Step number three, planning your itinerary. So in podcast episode 114, I shared 10 steps to plan your itinerary and not ruin your vacation. I begin with a map of Ireland and I put every location on it that I want to see on that trip of Ireland. And so I have um, I have a laminated map. It's like, I don't know, two feet by three feet, maybe. Um, but you can do this with a just a printed you know map of Ireland if you want to. But I mark everything. So my map of Ireland is covered in red dots. <laughs> and then what I do is I look for groupings. So like I mentioned in those top spots above, every place that kind of hits that, that classic Ireland itinerary has groupings of sites. And you're going to find that all over Ireland, no matter where you go. Sites are kind of grouped together um, that people know well. So I look for those groupings and then I map the drive times from one to another, kind of in the way that I would follow it around Ireland. And from that, I can really begin to narrow down the list based on how often I want to change accommodation, how much I really want to drive each day, and what my vacation goals are. Do I want to spend time relaxing? Do I plan to spend a lot of time hiking? And so I can't jump, you know, I can't do six hours of driving a day if I want to spend a couple hours hiking. You know, is there, uh, is there an attraction that's going to take more time, less time, that kind of stuff. So I really kind of break it down starting, you know, start to break it down based on what I want to see and do at all of those places. And then I write it all down and I erase my map and I redo it based on, you know, what's the most important to me? What things can I get to easily one day to the next? Do I want to stay three or four days in one area? And what are the best day trips from there? That kind of information. It usually takes two or three map updates before I have an itinerary that I'm happy with, that flows in the way that I want to travel, um, and that feels, you know, feels like a good fit for me. So you can click through to podcast episode 114 and get all 10 steps for itinerary planning. And step number four, plan ahead to save a little bit of money. Ireland can be an expensive place to visit. But you can find a deal if you know where to look. In podcast episode 117, I shared tips to help you save money on your Ireland vacation. I covered everything from saving money on flights and, and how to do flight monitoring, which actually is going to be in the next podcast episode. I cover car rental, which is coming up as well. Accommodations, attractions, dining, shopping. All of my money saving tips are in podcast episode 117. So once you have your itinerary outlined or right before you make those final decisions, go ahead and visit that podcast article and it will help you find savings for your trip. And that will help you kind of get that laid out a little more for you. Now, there are three more handy ways that I can help you plan your Ireland vacation. Number one. Download one of my free Ireland itineraries. Whether you use it for inspiration or follow it exactly, it's going to really help you have a great trip. Everything on those itineraries are things that I've done, places that I've been, and experiences that I really do recommend. Number two, you can grab a copy of the My Ireland Vacation Planner and Journal. It has an entire section, 11 pages, devoted to itinerary planning. It includes worksheets and maps, and it's really going to help you kind of get everything in order as you make that itinerary. You can visit irelandfamilyvacations.com backslash Ireland Planner to purchase it. And don't forget to use code PODCAST10 to save 10%. And finally, you can let my experience guide you. I offer both Ireland vacation coaching and custom itinerary creation, 
and you can take a look at those and see which is the best fit for your needs, and we can arrange a time to chat. I'll spend time answering your Ireland travel questions, and I will help you figure out what are things that maybe fit your interests or fit your vacation goals or help you narrow down, you know, help come kind of, I don't know, take care of that overwhelm that a lot of people tend to run into when they're planning an Ireland vacation. Because let me tell you, Ireland over delivers when it comes to the things to see and do. It's a small country, but it really does kind of bat above its weight. And uh, narrowing those down with the help of an expert can be really, really handy when you're planning a vacation that you want to remember forever. 